Jambo jambo The government will fast track the development of the blue economy. That is why the president, in his wisdom, created a standalone ministry to handle the blue economy and interconnected issues in mining and maritime affairs. The blue economy and fisheries sector is an important enabler of the bottom-up economic transformation agenda better. The sector also presents opportunities for jobs and wealth, food security, and absorption of carbon from the marine economy ecosystem, which is key to tackling climate change. With those very many remarks, I declare that the patrol, the patrol boats be officially handed over to the government of Kenya and subsequently launched. Thank you and God bless you. And I want to assure you, Your Excellency, all the directives that you have given to make sure that we inspire the sector. Uh, my team and I are up to the task and we have looked at the entire sector and given key priorities. And one of the key priorities, Your Excellency, is to ensure that artisanal fishermen are now able to do fishing as a business. And therefore, all the BMUs will be put into cooperative societies. Uh, but again, Your Excellency, we want to delve into industrial fishing. And that is why the support we have received today is very important. And Liwaton here will be the fisheries processing ecosystem. Uh, and you and His Excellency the President have given us six months to ensure that uh, all the work is completed. And I want to assure you the contractor is here. We will we'll be able to make sure that that commitment is realized. Now, the blue economy and the fi ocean fishing uh, is extremely important for the Kenyan development. Uh, I understand that the Kenyan uh, vessels do not catch, only catch a small proportion of the very rich fishing resources that are out there in the e economic zone. And of course, uh, even if the foreign vessels are catching the tuna resources, they can of course export it through the Kenyan ports. Uh, I think that uh, there is a Japanese company interested to invest in a food processing plant so that it could be exported to Japan and other countries. Uh, but in order to fully realize the potential of the blue economy, there is a need for a lot of capacity Building. Kuna chaji wana wachaji hawa wavuvi kama driving license fee. Sasa unaambiwa hawa watu tatizo lioko wanaambiwa waregee tena waweze kusoma kwenda kufanya ile tatizo sio hiyo ile gharama ya kuambiwa waende kusoma. Unaambiwa mtu alipe maelfu ya shilling aende akasome kitu ambacho hata yeye anaweza kumfunza yule ambaye kwamba anaambiwa msomeshe yeye. So kama kama kaunti ya Mombasa kama kaunti ya Mombasa tuko tayari tutawaita wale wavuvi wote na tayari kamati yetu department ya blue economy maambiwa hiyo tutaita wavuvi wote tutawapeleka kwa gharama yetu lakini zile fee ambazo zinafaa kulipwa KME tuwaonee huruma katika wakati huu wa uchumi mbaya hawa wavuvi waende kuvua wakiwa wamefuata sheria wamepata vibali vyao bila tatizo lolote jengeni the CEO of Bandari Maritime Academy, Mr. Francis Moraya.